Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, we're gonna get our hops on, uh huh. It's Bruce Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. That, that lovely, lovely sound does confirm that it's Bruce Day Tuesday. My name is Drez. I would be Huck. Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz joining me per usual this time of the day and week so that we can drink some beer and dick around on the radio. There you go. That's so that's what's fun. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I mean and, what a job. And after uh after I guess it might have been a couple weeks straight that uh you didn't have to worry about finding beers and whatnot. We're back to the usual routine. Except what? These are free. Oh yeah. so somebody was kind enough to hand you some cold yeah, ones to bring back know, with you? It's one of the perks. It's like uh, a friend of a friend told the folks over at Center of the Universe Brewing that I was a cool guy and they should invite me over for some free beer. So they did. Center of the Universe. Uh, so where is where exactly is that? It's in Ashland, Virginia. Ashland. Yeah, it's like right. You can see it from the interstate. You may not know that Ugh. from 95. Okay. But you got to kind of drive three or four miles around to get to it. But you can see it. It's right there at the interstate. So it's you like got, across but that, you got to go the long ra- long way yeah, around. It's like across the interstate from that giant RV sales place there in Ashland. Okay, you'll see, you can see that on the interstate too. So it's like across the way. So I was mistaken. I thought it was something else, but uh, it's my first trip there, and they were they were releasing a couple of new beers, and one of the beers was uh, an IPA Chameleon. As a matter of fact, I think I got a T-shirt. I should have wore that today. Oh, come on now. I know. But Jeez, in any case. Fuck, you're slipping. But then the colors would have kept changing and bothering everybody. But um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a sweet-ass T-shirt. I'll switch it in for next the next segment. All right. But um, so then they then they made one, uh, an Imperial. Well, before we get IPA. into all that, how about you tell me what you hand, what they gave you and what you gave to me? Okay, well, they, those weren't for delivery. You know, those were on draft only. So the Ray, I have the Ray Ray's Extra Pale Ale. Pale Ale being one. Ray of my, Ray? Ray Ray. One of my favorite beers. It says, Chris Ray was a professional reef, relief pitcher and longtime home brewer. And his uh, waistline, ERA, and knowledge of craft beer grew steadily as he traveled all over the U.S. during his career. And he probably drank a bunch of beer and he retired. But they did, I remember they called him Ray Ray. Ray Ray. And uh, over here, you gave me the, I'm going to hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's fancy writing. Uh, Polka Hop. Yeah, Pocahoptus. Pocahoptus, and obviously it looks like an Indian woman on the front, so is that a pun on Pocahontas? It is. And of course, it couldn't be a Pocahoptus without nice lopping hops to make an IPA. It looks like it's uh, yeah, a nice hearty IPA, 6.8% ABV. Yeah. What about uh, what about yours over there? I'm just trying to figure that out here. It's fine print, Huck. You need your glasses. Uh, I got my glasses. I'm still not really seeing it. <laughs> okay. Well, we can try and figure it out. I'd say five-ish. Yeah. I mean... Uh, five point two. Yeah. There you go. Extra pale ales. You know, that sounds about right. Yeah. So, okay. So, you said that... So, basically, you came out because there was something special that they had been brewing? Yeah. They, they kind of did. They're doing like a survey thing. They brought invited some of their customers, some beer industry folks like myself. <sighs> Some, there's a bunch of people like that run bottle shops and stuff in Richmond, Williamsburg. It's a good, interesting group. I, I got to hang out and talk to them. And they had food catered in from a place called Tap House that ah. was like growlers down the street. And the food was really good, too. So I mean, I feel like Tap House might be the most common yeah. name of a place that there's like 15 different kinds. You know, like yeah. it's, it's just they're not a chain. It's just, oh, yeah, Tap House. Because I mean, I'm assuming it's not the Tap House in black. No, it was like Tap a Keg, Tap a Kegger. That's what it was. Tap a Kegger. It was a, like a bar. It was like a growler bar, and they had food. That sounds like a made up frat. I know. I, I'm I'm uh, with Tap a Keg. <laughs> I'm with Tap a Kegger. <laughs> but uh, they were real nice. Chris over there hooked me up with uh, some beer, and of course the tastings, and we chatted about it. They've been around a couple of years. Yeah. So what's yeah? What's the story with uh, Center of the Universe? It's just a nice, you know. Normal, new new style brewery. You know, got a bar, got some games, had some pinball machines, food trucks on the weekends, different events going on. Typical, typical, typical brewery scene. Typical brewery scene, yeah. Sweet. I like it. And they were real nice. But, so, um, and what about Ashland, though? Like, I've, I know I've heard of Ashland. Maybe I'm thinking of Asheville. 
But what's up with that? Is there anything out there? Uh, I don't know, you know if I'm know, that a, familiar with that part of Virginia. I have a security customer out there that runs a warehouse. So, I mean, that's the kind of thing out there, industrial stuff, warehouses, yeah. stuff like that. Perfect spot for a brewery. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing else to do. You know, the you, brewery find the brewery, beer. you find the breweries in those warehouse farms a lot. That's a true. Lot. I was, Virginia Beach, when I was down there, a lot in the warehouse farms. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's it's just a place because it's cheap space and lots of parking and nobody seems to care if you make a lot of noise and have a band. I think is why. Yeah, hey, it's perfect. You know, you put it in the middle of a residential perfect. neighborhood, you might have some issues. All right. Well, uh, so we'll shoot. You know what? Let's go ahead and untap these bad boys, and then we'll uh, we can talk a little bit more about uh, center of the universe next round. What uh, what do you think of that extra? with well, the Ray Ray, the Ray Ray. The Ray Ray is really good. Pale ale being one of my favorite styles of beer. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a tasty, tasty pudding here. I'm going to give it a four. Four, solid nice four. Even four, yeah. That's not bad. It looks pretty good. I like the I like the color of that one. So over here with the Pocahoptus. 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 Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm not going to lie. First sip, it caught me a little. Uh, uh, didn't quite grab me. Really? I uh, and at first I was like, oh man, these people are so nice. They invite you out, they give us free beer, and I'm gonna dog them on the show. But this is one of those beers that uh, it's warming up to me. It also might be because I haven't, I actually didn't drink over the week, and I haven't drank in almost a week. Believe it or not, I've been, I've been trying to be good, you know, losing weight, still trying to get on that, on that thing. I'm down like down a little over ten pounds this year so far, so by the way, Huck. Deal. So you know, yeah. getting there, but um. So maybe that was it. Maybe I just wasn't used to beer. But I tell you what, man, it's definitely warming up to me now, man. Every sip seems to be getting a little bit better. Well, the one time I had the first time I had the Poker Hoptus, I was like, this is a really good beer. Of course, I had a draft at the Mekong, which is a famous beer bar in Richmond, which they're near too, which is why they probably had it's on a draft. fresh draft. Yeah, fresh draft. And I was like, this is a really good IPA. Isn't it interesting how different uh, you could have a beer in a can and they could be brewed the exact same time and then on draft, and it, it tastes different. It does. There's I think, no doubt. You know, I try to drink draft beer mostly. Yeah. I'm not a stickler about uh, generally it. Generally, that's what I go but my towards, preference too. You is see draft. what's on tap, you know? Yeah. Either way, I digress. Uh, as for untapping this bad boy, like I said, it's getting better as it goes, so this the, the, the score might improve by the time I'm done with it. But, uh, yeah, you might be right. I, I feel like it's uh, probably around that four range. It's, it's a pretty damn good IPA. Yeah, I think they're delicious. Yeah, yummy, yummy in my tummy. And I think we have something else that might be delicious coming up. I think we do. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, We'll uh, take a quick break, and we'll drink some more brewskis from Center of the Universe on Brew Day Tuesday, right after this. Stick around. 